I'm very pleased to have with us our good friend and host of Gun It with Benny Spies, Mr. Benny Spies. How you doing, Benny? Pretty good, Cam. How you doing, my friend? I am excellent. Listen, i got to thank you for this amazing work of art that uh, you sent me here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I hope you don't mind. I'm drinking from it right now. Awesome. With, with, That's why I sent it. This is, a, this is incredible. This has Mount Rushmore. It's got prairie dogs. It's got bison on it. This is, and, you know, you, you sent me this letter, and you said that uh, my desk needed a little uh, gussying up, that, you know, I, I need a little bit more character, a little bit more personality. And so I have to say, uh, after searching all over South Dakota for this thing, you, you nailed it, Benny. You nailed it. That it's a special thing for you, my friend. I tell you what, I I, I used to into I interned for two semesters for Conan O'Brien, and on his desk he has an Eisenhower mug, and I always, and I saw that on his desk. I always thought that was unique, and I was that guy. He was one of my favorite, or still is one of my favorite, uh, you know, late night hosts. And I was thinking, Cam's the man, <laughs> and just like the greats of late night, the greats of daytime as well. He needs a coffee mug, signature coffee mug on your desk as well, and boom, right there. And I did search long and far and hard and wide for that thing, and I think it fits you well. And uh, it's a little token of South Dakota because you have yet to come and pick me up on my invitation to come out here and see me. I, I, I know. Well, you know, it's it's hard when you do the Daily Show uh, to, to be able to fly away, but I, I, I want to get up there. Uh, and so tell me, how what, what have you been up to lately, Benny? Well, you know, it's just kind of ironic that this weekend pheasant season starts here in South Dakota. Yeah. It opens up. Yeah, for non-residents uh, like yourself. Non- so, so like this weekend, be, I could just come up. It'd be perfect. It'd be perfect. And I have a big I have a big appearance coming up at Cabela's here in Mitchell, South Dakota, starting tomorrow. So you show up, we hang out, you sign autographs, I'll watch you because you're a big deal. <laughs> and then after, after everybody's done, you know, hanging out with you, taking pictures, then we can head out and shoot, shoot a few birds. What would it, that? Are, are there people in this world that can get an offer like this on Thursday? Like, hey, come out to South Dakota for the weekend and can actually do this? Not many. Because I'm not, not one many. of them. I got to tell you, you, you can. I'll, I'll give you my wife's cell phone number, Benny. You can give her a call. Tell her that I will not be around to uh, help out with the kids this weekend because I'm going hunting in South Dakota, and I will let you uh, handle that for me. Will you do that? Well, I, sure, I'll take your wife's cell phone number. <laughs> <I don't. laughs> hey. <laughs> when you say it like that, all of a sudden, Benny, it sounds a little weird. Uh, hey, don't break the mug. Don't break the mug. <laughs> and I want you to know, I was so tickled by this thing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking from it right now. I looked all over the state of Virginia for something that I thought could even slightly measure up. Uh, mm -hmm. and, it, and it took me a while. But uh, I was in Charlottesville not long ago, and I, I, I saw a mug that um, – it was as close to representing the, the spirit of Virginia as your South Dakota mug uh, represents that state. And so uh, I, I'm glad to see that you're enjoying your new mug, too. I did. That was actually taken early this morning. Earlier That's this right. morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? Yeah, well, that's perfect. Exactly. You know, celebrating a little uh, late night celebration for the upcoming pheasant season and hanging out with a few friends. Took a picture with my Virginia mug. And on top of that, listen, this book, this mug is now going to find its home in the toaster, the 1973 Winnebago oh. brand that we drive around the countryside. So it'll be well taken care of, um, and it's going it's, it's to be enshrined in the toaster, which I'm super excited about. And thank you very much for the mug. I, I definitely appreciate that. Oh, listen, man, we, 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 I, I love the mug exchange program, and, you know, I, I will get up to South Dakota. But I do have to point out, Benny, you are a little more mobile than I am. You have the 73 Winnebago, right? Yeah, I do. So yeah. <laughs> what is it going to take if I pick up your gas money? What's it going to take for you to get this Winnebago down to Virginia? I don't think neither of us together could afford that <laughs> gas money, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. And right now, as we speak, the Winnebago is in the shop. My oh. buddy Justin Newhouser is over here in Watertown. It's sitting in the shop because it doesn't have heat. And it's starting to get cold around here, and I have to road it about two and a half hours tomorrow in 20 degree weather. It's not going to be fun. So, have you thought so between about uh, no heat this time of the year, gas money to Virginia? I'm, <laughs> I, if if you promised me that we can take it, drive around the nation's capital, show it off, you know, maybe get its own natural landmark for it. Yeah. I'll pay for it out of my pocket. Well, the shutdown is over, so there'll be. I, I don't think the National Park Service would put up any barricades around the Bago. You know, we could do 
Is the Redskins in town this weekend? We could do a big, uh, you know, tailgate out of it. Oh. You know, I like I, the way you think, Benny. I'm on fire. You really? I'll tell you what, I, I'm on fire. You just you, you just throw it up, and I'll hit it out of the park. Yeah, you know, I, I was just informed. I've never been to a uh, Redskins game uh, here, but I was just informed no tailgating's allowed. Yeah, until the Winnebago shows up. <laughs> They won't have a choice. You can't stop you know, the if Winnebago. We're, if we're lucky the thing will start on fire when we get there. We only need to drill. We can just cook the hot dogs in the flame from the Winnebago. Dream, dreams will come true for us all. Oh, man. Hey, what do you have coming up on the next edition of uh, Gunner with Many Spies? Well, you know, I think it's a couple of weeks when we have a, 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 a South Dakota turkey hunt. I know uh, turkey hunts, you know, seem to be kind of all the same, which you see on TV, but I'm going to tell you something with, with when I go out turkey hunting, it kind of seems like all the wheels fall off everything I go and everything I do. And uh, same happens with this one. But I think it's in a couple weeks, to tell you the truth. I think this weekend might be a rerun. But um, the, next, the next big one is a turkey hunt in South Dakota. We go archery, we go shotgun, and uh, we see a lot of turkeys. They get in, they get close, and I may or may not come home with one. I'm not going to give away the big secret. All right. Listen, Benny, yeah. it's always great talking to you, sir. Thank you so much for coming on the program. And Kim, do do so do I do I make up the spare bedroom or not? Are you coming or not? Come on. Uh not this weekend, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Tell you what, this offer is only gonna last for another two or three years. You're gonna have to take me up on it so, sooner or later. We're gonna you know what, we're gonna nail down a date for this because I wanna make this happen. I wanna hang you know, with my Benny mom's Spies. Still asking about you, by the way, too. Uh, I well you just <laughs> boy you left me wide open on that one. Well, you know, you, you know, I'm just being honest with you. She's a good cook, and uh, she she likes to go out and shoot birds too. And, well, and my dad does too, by the way. Yeah. But I'm just saying, the whole family would love to see you. Get you over here and enjoy a little South Dakota, some good cooking, some good times, and some good fun. And as you can see, I like to drink beer, and uh, so that's a big part of it as well. So uh, hey, that's the full package. You know, I mean, really. <sighs> It, it's it's killing me to say no, Benny, for this weekend. But I'm only saying no for this weekend. We will we will work out a date. Perhaps I'll even talk to you during the commercial break about a date. But uh, in the meantime, it's always great having you on the show. You come back anytime you want. I'll take you up on that. Please weekly. do. All right, man. <laughs> Benny Spies. All right, Cam. Have a great I love one, you, man. buddy. Thank you very much. All right, you too, brother. Benny Spies right. joining us, host of Gun It with Benny Spies right here on Sportsman Channel.